Let us pray. Loving God, you created us in your own image, and from the youngest child to the oldest adult, you love us all. We thank you for this wonderful love and for the many blessings you pour upon us. You have known us since before we were born, and you know our every thought. We thank you for all our brothers and sisters around the world and pray that they may know your love and see your love in our actions. So often we fail to help others when we could. We turn a blind eye to the beggar or homeless person on the street. We walk past someone selling the big issue. We watch charity appeals on the television and fail to respond. Lord, it is so hard to know what to do to make things better for those in situations which appear to be hopeless. Let your Holy Spirit move within us to feel compassion instead of hard-heartedness, empathy instead of apathy, and a sense of urgency instead of feeling numb as yet another natural disaster or human-made catastrophe comes onto our screens. We pray especially today for the situation in Yemen. We ask that the leaders there open their eyes and hearts to the suffering of their people and turn their warring actions into care and compassion. We pray that governments across the world, including our own, will send aid to relieve the suffering and pain that the ordinary folk are having to live with. We give you thanks for and lift up to you all aid workers in Yemen and indeed all around the world who put their own lives on hold and at risk to volunteer to help. We pray for peace throughout the world and today we think of Myanmar and the unrest that is causing so much suffering there. We also bring before you the Uyghur people in China who are being oppressed by the Chinese government in its attempt to stamp out extremism. We pray for all our Muslim brothers and sisters and for anyone who is being persecuted for what they believe. There are many places, Father, where to worship you is considered wrong and we ask that Christians throughout the world feel your Holy Spirit giving them strength to stand up for the true love and freedom which knowing you brings to us all. Loving God, we pray for our country and for our leaders who must be exhausted having had to deal with the COVID pandemic this past year. Decisions have had to be made almost on a daily basis and so much was unknown, but we give you thanks for all that we have learned over the past few months. We thank you for the skill and dedication of our scientists who have produced safe vaccines for us and for those who have been involved in making sure we all get our jabs. We ask that you give those who are unsure of the safety of the vaccine the courage and wisdom to know that so much research had been done before this pandemic and that the vaccines have been well and truly tested. We pray for our community, Father. We pray that lockdown will start to ease for us all and that within the next few weeks we will be able to meet with our family and friends again. We lift up our young people to you, both those that are back to school and those that will return in the next couple of weeks. We pray that all will be safe. We pray too for those who have lost a loved one or who is unwell or waiting for medical test results. We ask that you hold them in your loving arms and comfort those who are bereaved and lonely. We lift to you all those businesses looking forward to opening once again and welcoming tourists to you, our beautiful part of the world. And pray that this year will go a long way to getting folk back on their feet again after a long, hard few months. Lastly, loving God, we ask your blessings on all our families and friends here in Le Haber and beyond, that we might all stay safe and well, and thank you for your everlasting love. In Jesus' name, Amen.